everyone, shall we play a quick game of Simon Says? Here's how it goes. Simon gives you an instruction and you follow it. Simon says turn and you turn. Simon says close your eyes and you close your eyes. Are you ready? Let's start. Simon says clap. Simon says clap. Simon says clap. Simon says clap. I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't it be easier if Simon said clap four times? When we know in advance that we want a certain instruction to be repeated a certain number of times, it's easier to just say repeat instruction this many times. This is also true when we program in Python. So if you want to add repeatability to our code, we use loops. Loops are programming structures that repeat a sequence of instructions until a specific condition is met. Let's take a look at another example. Have you heard of the song, We Will Rock You? It has three simple steps. Would you like to learn? It's simple. All you need to do is tap your foot twice and clap. Watch. One, two, clap. Repeat. One, two, clap. In this way, you'd repeat it for the entire song. Are you ready? You can do it too. We repeat the three steps throughout the song, maybe like a hundred times. So we can say, repeat until performed hundred times, followed by the three instructions. If you notice carefully, you can understand the two main loop concepts. What do you want to repeat and for how long do you want to repeat it? In the rock you dance, what do you want to repeat? The three dance steps and for how long? Hundred times. The three dance steps are called the statements and until a hundred times is the condition. In a loop, statements are repeated until a condition is met. If you can answer these two questions, you are now ready to add loops to your code.